Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge IKEA haul to share with you. We went to IKEA a few days ago and actually ended up spending around about £700, I think, which is crazy. But we got a lot of big furniture items that we needed and I'm so excited to show you everything. If you're new around here and you landed on my video by searching for IKEA hauls, then hi and welcome. My name is Aziz and I have two children, James, who is about to turn three, and Isabella, who is one and I do lots of haul videos, beauty videos, parenting videos, family vlogs, lots of different types of videos. So if you like these kinds of videos, please hit the subscribe button. It's free, it won't cost you a thing and all it does is you get a notification when I upload a new video. So you get to see my content frequently. I post three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if you are a long time viewer or if you watch my videos frequently but you don't know if you're subscribed, you can check by looking below this video next to my name. If you are subscribed, it will say subscribed. If you're not, it will say subscribe. And if you're not, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. So now, without further ado, let's get straight into the haul. Let me just change a few settings here on my camera because it's getting a little bit too bright. The sun has come out and I've got a window next to me so I might close the blinds on there. Hang on a second. Right, so I think that looks a little bit better from what I can see here on my camera. I'm not too overexposed. So the first thing that we got was this day bed, sofa bed behind me here. And this is the Hemnes day bed. And I've been looking for a sofa bed for so long for this room because we only have one spare room in the house. And so this is kind of like a guest bedroom slash my office slash beauty room. And I didn't want it to be taken by like a full size bed because then you wouldn't have any space to walk around and store anything. So I really wanted a day bed like sofa bed style. But every single one that I saw was too expensive or too ugly. And we had one of these in our old rented house. So I really wanted one when we moved to this house and I finally got it. So we went for the one, you can either get just the bed or you can get the bed and two mattresses to go with the bed because you have to have two mattresses in order for it to become a double bed. It can stay like that in this configuration as a sofa. So you have the two mattresses, one on top, on top of the other, or when you pull out the draw part of the bed to make it into a double bed, you put the two single mattresses next to each other and it becomes a double bed. So to turn this sofa bed into a double bed, you pull that bit out there, but you don't compromise your drawers. You still have access to all your three drawers, which is quite nice, so you don't lose the storage. And you pull this here, and if you pull it all the way, you get a, a double bed. So that comes out all the way forward and you take one of the mattresses from the top and you put it on top of that wooden plank kind of thing there. So you can either just buy the bed or you can buy the bundle, the bed and the mattresses. I'll leave all the prices and the links in the description box below. And the bed on its own is about 240 odd pounds. So it's not too bad, you know, it's a good price for a sofa bed and it looks really pretty as well. It goes with my room decor, which is a lot of white and pinks and things like that. So I'm really, really pleased with it. My husband and I put it together over three days actually, because we have two young children and we didn't have anyone to look after them. So we had to do it ourselves and my husband pulled his back. So he was in a lot of pain and I was trying to help as much as I could, um, but I'm not really good with flat pack stuff, but we managed and we built this bed, finished it last night actually and um, yeah so I'm really pleased with it and it just looks great I think in this room. So that was the first big purchase and you can see how we ended up spending £700 um, in Ikea. So the next thing that we got is also a big piece of furniture that we haven't put together yet. I'm kind of waiting for um, poor Matthew's back to heal a little bit because he has been in a lot of pain with his back. So we got a chest of drawers, again from the same line, the Hemnes line, for our master bedroom. We went for the large one because we just need storage as much as we can and it actually looked really pretty and I'm excited to put that together and to get rid of all the mess that accumulates on one corner of our bedroom because we have like this empty space. So that's yet to be put together and I'll show you when we do finish it up. Finish it up. Um, the third thing that we got, I'm going through like the big furniture items first and then the smaller things. 
um, we got a little toddler table and chairs for my two children. Now Isabella is a lot bigger and she needs a chair of her own as well. So I wanted to upgrade them to a bigger table and chairs. So I saw this one from Ikea, which was 20 pounds for the table and the chairs, and you cannot beat the value for money on that. There was another one that I was looking at in Ikea, and that was a plastic table with the plastic chairs, and the table itself was about 30 pounds, and the two chairs was 15 pounds each. So, you know, for 20 pounds to get a wooden table and chairs for children, it's really good value for money. And I put it together myself with no help from anyone, and it's, I'm just so proud of myself for doing that because I really cannot work flat pack on my own. I'm just useless. Um, but yeah, that's really good and I'm so happy with it. I ordered some contact paper from Amazon to protect the wooden top because I can see that gets getting stained and damaged. So that was the third I think that was all of the big furniture items that we got. And then for smaller and like more decorative things, I actually got some of the cushions that you can see on the background. I will do a close up so you can see what I mean. So I got two cushions and three cushion covers and I don't know how I missed the third cushion. So I've got a spare cushion cover that I don't have any cushions to put into and I've got to go buy another cushion. So I got two pink ones. The kind of color scheme of this room is pink, white, and I'm gonna do some gold accents. Um, I first wanted pink, white, and gray, but I have a lot of pink, white, and gray in my house. My daughter's nursery is pink, white, and gray. My lounge is gray and white. So I just wanted a bit of gold because I do like gold things. And yeah, so I'm gonna go for gold. Um, so I'm thinking as well of changing the, um, what are they called, the door, the drawer knobs um, to a more of a golden coppery, not coppery, but like an old gold, what's that called, like tarnished gold style. Um, and if you know anywhere I can look for door knobs and, not, it's not door knobs, why do I keep saying door knobs? Draw handles and things like that then let me know i've been looking on amazon but i haven't seen anything that's taken my fancy and i forgot to say that i also got this pink throw and i think it goes really well with the pink and white theme of this room i also got two duvet covers for my son's bed i'll just pick it up because they're right here so these are the duvet covers that i picked up they're like duvet sets so you get the pillowcase as well as duvet cover and this is for a toddler bed. What I find is because his bed is from Ikea and his duvet is from Ikea as well, that when I buy toddler bed duvet covers for his duvet, they're too small. And then if I buy single bed duvet covers, they're too big. And only the Ikea duvet covers fit the Ikea duvet. So that's really strange and annoying. So I went ahead and I got two just because I'm not in Ikea every day. And I got this one, which is like robots themed. And yeah, I think it's the same pattern, the front and back. And this one is like um, a jungle theme. It's got a lion, tiger, palm trees and things like that. So that's what I got for James's bed. This is kind of like the only, physical thing that I have to show you. Oh no, I forgot the chair that I'm sitting on. <laughs> I got that as well and I built it myself. So I really wanted an acrylic, acrylic, is that how you say it? Acrylic chair for this room. And it was more of a want than anything. It was just like a crazy idea that I had in my mind that I wanted an acrylic chair to put this kind of furry um, mat throw over it, very kind of blogger style, <laughs> um, but I really wanted it, so I got it. And I think this was reasonably priced. There were much cheaper chairs, like just plain white wooden chairs that I was really tempted to get because they were cheaper, but I really, really wanted it, so I got this one. My base came with a fault. It wasn't something that I put together, it's something that already came with the frame put together, but they put something inside out, which means that I have like a wobble now that makes a noise, which is really annoying, and I'm thinking whether or not I'm going to return this, but I'm just awful at returning things. I just find it such a hassle returning things. So I'd rather keep something and have this annoyance permanently than return it. But my husband is really adamant that we're going to return it. So just to keep in mind, so check the base to make sure that there's a little plastic cover and make sure that that clear plastic cover 
is correct. Like they all, if they all look the same, they are correct. But mine had three that looked the same and one that looked different. And that's what's creating the wobble on my chair. Um, so going back to little things that we got. So we got a little side table lamp for James and this is like in the shape of an owl. So we really wanted something that was childproof and safe and friendly because my toddler is very adventurous and I am absolutely 100% sure that he's going to be touching it, fiddling with it, wanting to play with it. Even when we're not in the room, he's going to want to touch it. So I didn't want anything that he could tamper with or get himself himself injured or something like that and when you're buying that lamp it says on the little label that it's been um, safety checked for little hands um, that they don't tamper with it so that gave me a lot of reassurance that I could put it in James's bedroom and it would be totally safe and it already comes with the LED bulb inside which is I didn't know that I was looking for the bulb to buy but it comes with the bulb already inside and you have to just unscrew the bottom because the cables come tucked into the lamp. Unscrew the bottom, take your cable out, screw it back up and plug it in. And it's really, really nice. It's just like a nice warm glow. For Isabella, we got, I feel like I'm going a million miles per hour. <laughs> um, we got her a night light. So we got her a little cat. Hers is battery operated, so you can also recharge the batteries. It comes with rechargeable batteries and you plug it in when the battery runs out, charge the batteries and then use it again. So you can take it with you and put it in different places. You don't need to be near a plug socket. And it's a very soft and squishy material. Again, it's another one that's child friendly and safe for children. And what I really like about it is because it's quite a nice soft night light and it stays on all night. So you don't have to worry about if you want the light on all night to go back and turn it back on. Um, and it's a nice soft touch as well. So um, things that are really important to me, I don't know if it's gonna be important to other people out there or other parents, but things that you can turn on and off without making a sound um, are really great for children because a lot of the times like I leave the light on and then my child falls asleep I put her in the cot and then I'm walking out of the room and I go and turn the light off and the smallest little click wakes her up so that was really good that that little cat light once you press the top to turn it on and off it makes zero sound and I was really pleased and chuffed with that. <laughs> a very simple thing, but something that made me really happy. We also got a few more tempered glass bowls because we bought them last time we were in Ikea. We bought some tempered glass plates and bowls and they have been great. They're such good value for money. I think I paid two pounds for four bowls and that's incredible. It's like 50p for a bowl. And I really like the design. It's really lightweight, durable. So we got four more of those this time. And I think the last things we got were fitted sheets. So I got a, a single bed fitted sheet for this bed. Um, if you're buying this bed with the mattresses, look out for the fitted sheets that say fitted sheets to fit day bed. And what it does is that it's slightly longer on the side so you can get it um, over two single mattresses at the same time and cover the two mattresses one on top of the other with the fitted sheet. And I also got a double fitted sheet for when we have it in the double bed configuration. So I think that is everything that we got and that amounted to about 700 pounds. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with everything that we got. It's so rare that I'm happy with everything that we got. Apart from the little wobble on the chair, um, everything has suited us perfectly. I will be doing an office slash guest bedroom room tour very, very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. I'm just waiting for a few prints that will go on the wall to arrive. And once that's here, I will show you around my little room because I am so in love with it. It's like, I'm, I finally have an office that is me, that feels like my style and my taste. And I just love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. I'll leave a link in the description box below to a playlist with all of my previous IKEA hauls. Not that I've done that very many, but if you wanna see what other IKEA furniture and bits and bobs I have around my house, then check out the link in the description box below. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.